Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian, I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 3, Episode 12 of Lucifer. This time the title of the episode is All About Her. And yeah, we are back, we are ready to watch another uh, episode of Season 3 of Lucifer. Um, the previous episode... Uh, didn't it happen in the past, I, I think? We're having a lot of those episodes, and I'm gonna guess it's because of how long the series is, uh, this, this season is, so, yeah, um, but I am, I'm ready to enjoy another episode, I hope you guys are ready as well, I hope you guys enjoy my reaction, uh, for this new episode, um, yeah, I don't think, I don't think I have much to say <laughs> about, like, how excited I am, because I am excited, I'm ready, I wasn't planning on watching Lucifer today, I was gonna watch Lucifer tomorrow, but uh, there are some issues going on uh, with the other shows that I can't, I am not able to watch them at the moment. So I said, you know what? Lucifer is the next best choice. And here I am ready to enjoy Lucifer. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Give it a lot of thumbs up if you love Lucifer. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. And you can go right now to Patreon and watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link as always will be in the description down below. And yeah, we're going to watch episode 12. I hope you guys enjoy. And without further ado, let's just begin with season 3, episode 12 of Lucifer. Here we go. I was gonna watch The Fosters first today, um, but my VPN, I use the Canada VPN, it's not working. So I said, you know what? Lucifer is available, on. so why not watch it, you know? Lopez, just stop talking! I it hate it that he's so weird he yeah, seeing screaming. you and Amanda Dale so chummy. I don't want you two getting together. I understand. I and they get got so together. You. The world's first murder. <laughs> oh yeah! By a god and doomed to walk the earth alone for a tortured eternity. It's quite the moniker. Wouldn't you agree? Cain. Cain, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about that because the previous episode didn't deal with any of this. Now you'll claim your arrival on my doorstep simply coincidence. No. I'm the one that had you knocked out and left in the desert. That's okay. It. That's all I did. So you're gonna blame everything else on your eyeless stooge? He wasn't a stooge, he was my right-hand man. Until you shot him dead. Excellent way to repay his loyalty, by the way. He went rogue. I have no idea why he did what he did. That's why I had oh, to really? take him out. I don't know if I believe you. You're an immortal. You really do bleed a lot, don't you? I've had a long day. Mm, no. Where do you think you're going? Oh, you can't just walk out on me. Yeah, you just can't do oh, that. You'll kill me. <laughs> I'll tell everyone that you really are. Go ahead. They don't even believe you're the devil. Holy hell. Well, he hasn't really showed. Okay. I was like, Mace? we're gonna stab him again? Eh, oh Testing my God. a new blade. Making sure it's kill ready. <laughs> it is. Maze, you can't just throw knives at Trixie's door. It's dangerous, and now we have to pay to have this fixed. <sighs> I've missed Maze so freaking much. I have missed her. Please don't make don't make her leave ever, ever again. Okay? Thank you very much. Relax. Trix is already working on another one of her alien drawings. Oh, is that is what? Is that why you've been putting up all of Trixie's artwork? To cover <laughs> up the damage? What? It's gonna make cash somehow. Seriously, Mace? <laughs> you live in a house with people. This is that human thing where you're mad about something else, but you're taking that on me, right? Yeah. <laughs> Mace. I'm sorry. Oh. I didn't mean to snap at you. I'm just... I, I love... She knows her so well. We're here for a friendship. If there's something else, I'm really... Like, go for it. <laughs> I'm, I'm upset. You're never gonna change Lucifer. He is who he is. Well, that is true. Yeah. Don't, don't try to change him. <laughs> Look at them. They look so hot together. Ay, Dios mío. Give me the ship. <laughs> 
I hate myself. It, it was so dark. These transients keep coming through here to get to our beach. We can't stop them. We put you own the beach? But they just ignored them. And now they're committing murder? How it is? Yeah, only so many hours. Yeah, that might <laughs> never be as good as this kid was. Look at her. Oh, oh. But look at, at, at Ella's uh, pen. I like so it. So blunt force trauma to the head is cause of death, Ella? Then what is? Choking. Like on a Aww. chicken bone? Or did someone else do it with their hands, or? Surf leash from his own board. Oh. Not his own board. No DNA. Ella? Yeah, she's not talking. I hate Pierce. We hate him, right? We hate him. Man. Oh, sweetheart. Okay? Huh? Oh, she doesn't yeah. want to talk. All right, well, oh. I guess we're looking for another surfer then. Yeah, I'll start digging into Manny's personals. Wait. I need your help investigating someone. What? Someone very clever and cunning, but they're lying to me, and it's imperative I get to the truth. <laughs> you came here to get my help. Very much so, yeah. yes. My help. Yeah. Are you having a senior moment? Oh, shut up. <laughs> no. No, I'm not having a senior moment. <laughs> I'm finally accepting you for what you really are, which is an egomaniacal narcissist. The only thing I can do <laughs> is control how I respond. By helping me? No! I'm working without you today. Time to go home and be with the person you love most. Yourself. Yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, she's not absolutely wrong about everything she's just said. He is very narcissistic. Well, technically, we kidnapped each other. The point is, perhaps it would help if you saw Chloe's perspective for a change. I mean, friendship is a two-way street. Yes, but right now, mine is clearly the more important thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try a different tack. Maybe if you thought about how your actions affected her, she might be more receptive to how you feel. So... What you're saying is I need to make it all about her for a change. Exactly. <laughs> and then she can make it all about me. Oh, that is brilliant, Doctor. <laughs> yes. Very good. He always gets the wrong advice. You should have seen that one coming. Yeah. <laughs> no, hey, don't blame me. You cherry bombed your way, dude. You're dead. You hear me? You're totally dead. Oh, yeah. He didn't do it then. Walk away. This is Dangerous Doug Libby, a nationally racist Dangerous Doug. History with Manny. Who calls themselves Dangerous Dog? Like, who's gonna be afraid of a dog? Like, right? Oh, gee. <laughs> this fight took place. Okay, I'll update the lieutenant. Mm -hmm. She notices something is up with her. No, you are not being your excessively cheery self today. What gives? Mm. Fine. Don't tell me. Pierce yelled at me yesterday. Oh, he sweetheart. said that I talk too much. That hurts. So I'm trying to no. talk less. You don't know how many times I've been in the exact same position as Ella. This is the whole reason why I have this channel and why I talk and rant and I don't care if I pause 300 times. I will continue to do so because this is my space, you know? But it hurts, you know, it hurts from, it, it, it really hurts from the people you admire the most if they tell you you are talking too much. It's just so awful, you know. I've been, heard, I've been hearing that my entire life, you know, so I, I kind of know how she feels. He's like a hero of mine. You need to get a thicker skin. Stand up for yourself because the truth is nobody's going to do it for you. Well, yeah, you need to stand up for yourself. That is true. She's such a hey, lovable Lieutenant? person. Sore throat, itchy eyes, a fever. Is it a cold? The flu? It's chlamydia. <laughs> Excuse me? It's the a sexually transmitted what? disease. How right, do you but got I can't chlamydia? Have chlamydia? I'm an angel. Yeah. <laughs> Not to worry. A round of antibiotics. And you'll be back to your uh, angelic ways. <laughs> how do you now, got chlamydia? The thing is to focus on next steps. Do you know how you got it? I have no idea. Well, have you been engaging in any risky sexual behavior? Well, I did have sex with a prostitute. Uh, <laughs> that might be it. <laughs> but I didn't know she was a Such an angel. <laughs> huh? 
Call all your recent partners, even the ones before the prostitute, just in case it wasn't her. They all need to be tested. Oh, gee, that's embarrassing. How do you call someone a hey? I got chlamydia. Want to check your. <laughs> that's going to be quite difficult, isn't it? Unless, of course, someone signed you up for the competition. Wait, this what? Won't actually, help. <laughs> yeah. Do you surf? Right. But wait, there's more. Now, since you're going in undercover, why not do it with a little panache? <laughs> <laughs> nice try. I'm not putting that on. Bit it really hard here. Did you oh. hit someone? Who did you say you were again? Next up, Chloe, the Detective Decker. What the fuck? <laughs> God, it's me kidding me. <laughs> You're a cop? Sorry, Dougie. LAPD. Oh, no! I'm afraid this is evidence, Dougie. Let go! Okay. <laughs> you did say let go. See? Detective Day. You're doing it all wrong, Lucifer. <laughs> so that I help you back, which exactly. is actually worse than not helping me at all. So thanks, but no thanks. The detective, surely you can appreciate a benevolent gesture. It's not it, benevolent. I know this case doesn't matter to you. That's not. Oh, hello. <laughs> Why else would I be here? Oh my God, dog. Because of your friend or rival, actually. Whoa, <laughs> Manny's dead too. <laughs> I don't know if I believe him. Um, pardon me. Cream? Sugar? Or do you take it dark and bitter like your soul? <laughs> <laughs> She's what? so tall, I love it. Do you it. enjoy beating up on your subordinates, Mr. Pierce? She looks up to you. Ooh! Shame on you. Oh, yes! But I like that she's defending Ella. I like that. I like that friendship. What are you up to, Lucy? Uh, detective, please. I really need you. Ah, detective Douche. Yeah, don't call Daniel, him that. Sorry, sorry. Old habits. I think it's because I'm distressed and I need your advice. And, you know, maybe if I had done more things like that. <laughs> He's already gone. I, I hate you. I'm <laughs> talking to myself. <laughs> World's most deadly hunting knife. <laughs> look at look friction her. forging. It's so sharp it can literally cut bone like butter. <laughs> look at her. <laughs> and now I want you to get what you deserve. Oh no. <gasps> Is it gift stupid? <laughs> Being such a great friend. You give look, to I her a really appreciate how you handled the whole me not wanting you and Amanda deal to bone thing. Oh, oh. This is unnecessary, Mace. Stop yeah. it. Okay, you deserve it. Look. Uh oh. We probably have chlamydia, honey. I need to tell you. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> That's your ringtone, oh, Mace. What? Honestly, she can do whatever she wants. She's always perfect to me in my eyes. She is perfection, you know. <laughs> that ringtone is really funny. Stupid amenity. Sorry. You were saying? Is everything okay? Uh, no big deal. He's just whining about having chlamydia. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Dodge that bullet. <laughs> oh! Yep. Oh! <laughs> Bullet dodge, all right. <laughs> oh, God. She's still gonna be, you know, Macy's not gonna be really happy about this whole thing. And Linda is already terrified of what she could do. But it's not so much about the harm that, that she can cause because, let's be real, she can cause a lot of harm, you know, physically. But I think that... You know, betraying her trust is the worst thing that Linda has done in the whole amenadiel thing, you know. This isn't a good idea. Trust me, it's gonna work. Wait. <laughs> it's the end part of the tribe. He is hot. I, I have to say it. Look at him. And look at him. Okay, maybe it'll work. Oh! Hello. 
Hello, is are, are those the bisexual? Fl is that the bisexual? Flag? Job, it probably isn't. Like, hello, who is she? I love her. Can she marry me? No, probably not. But the orcas don't move a muscle without Wild Child's nod. So stay on task, okay? Trust me, I know how to take off a lady. Yeah. <laughs> a cane. I don't think the detective wants a knife. I'm pretty <laughs> thoughtful here. That's our idea of thoughtfulness. <laughs> <laughs> Boring right. crime. Okay. Now what do I do? I've done everything I can imagine to be helpful to the detective, and I'm literally out of ideas. Can you think of anything? No. But you know what would help me? You scrub these test tubes. I want them spick and span. And if you don't mind, how about you do it with a freaking smile? Are you feeling all right, Miss Lopez? This isn't mm -hmm. me, is it? Mm -hmm. Afraid not, no. What do you mean, Pierce is leaving? Oh, yeah? yeah? Didn't you hear? He's about to transfer out of the department. <sighs> no, 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 he no. is in. Oh. Good job. We need to help Bella, too. Look at that! Oh, yes! Oh, it is him! Some parts of it is him? Mm-hmm. So might some others. You know, why are you being nervous? Point is, maybe you don't have to go. Oh, ah, there you are. What did you come to make it all about me again? No, it's all about him now. He's crazy if he thinks I'm letting him leave town without finishing our conversation. I want to die. Oh, to die. I... Well, he's been here for a while, so. What does that have to do with coming here, or me? It has nothing to do with you. And everything to do with her. <laughs> with the, wait, what? Why? Because she makes you I don't understand. What vulnerable? does the detective have to do with wanting to die? Because she has that effect on you. I've walked this earth for thousands of years. I have seen everything. I have done everything. I have watched everything I've ever known. Turn to ashes over and over again. That's oh, almost like you're in hell. Yeah. Yeah. And I've been searching for a way out. Forever. Keeping an eye on every celestial on Earth and what they're doing. Oh. How and why they seem to come and go. Gideon, Massacan of the Lilim. So imagine my surprise when I find out there's a detective who somehow made a devil bleed. Yeah. For the first time, I had hope. Maybe she could do for me what she did for you. Stage one's complete. I gotta tell you, I think these guys are all talk. I pissed every single one of them off. No one's moved yet. Oh. Oh. Oh, hey, guys. What's up? Oh. Oh, Jesus. Dan. Yeah. Dan is on the ground. Dan, are you all right? Uh oh. Wow. I guess that means surf's up. That a punch was gonna scare me off, did you? No. Oh, oh, oh. Should've just walked away, kook. Oh. I guess that's, uh, that's how it went down for Moondog, huh? What'd you say? I, I said that must have been what you did to my boy Moondog. Before he died. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh! Chloe! What in the hell are they doing? They're paying their respect? <laughs> what the hell is happening? Because Moondog was like one of us a free uh -huh. spirit who wanted to be one with the ocean. Okay. At least now we know he is. <laughs> One with the ocean? Go ahead, say something. Which is why I came here today to find his killer. I thought it was one of you guys. Why would you think that, man? Well, you guys were pretty it was aggressive. By a surf leash, and the orca's tags are all over carbon, which is where his body was found. That's crazy. Yeah, maybe. But I saw it myself. 
We don't go up to carbon. Those private beaches are all blocked off. Those rich snobs make it clear we're not welcome there, so why bother? Oh, okay. The Mr. ocean, Kinter? a big place. Let's take this moment for Moondog. <laughs> okay. For Moondog. 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 Aw, but I'm, I'm glad that they're doing that for him, though, you know? <laughs> It's a very moving ceremony, if, I have, if I'm being honest. I think someone's trying to set them up. I mean, yeah, the owners, maybe. Too much of a hassle. Oh, sloth, truly one of the world's most deplorable sins. If you want something, <laughs> Hello, you have detective. to be willing to go the extra mile. <laughs> what do you think? I'm particularly proud of the new filing system, complete with a sexy victim's file, obvious killer's pile, oh, and boring crime's file, to be ignored, of course. Cannot even, cannot even. <laughs> oh, I don't need your help anymore. Then why are you still here? Because he does care at the end of the day. Because this case matters to you. Oh. Therefore, it matters to me. We're, we're partners, detective. Oh, that's cute. He's always, he always finds a way to be cute. Holy crap, that's it. You did it. What? what? Okay, detective, I get it. You don't like the new filing system, but this is a bit excessive. No, <laughs> don't work, guys. R remember how they said that they never go up to carbon because it's private? California yeah. has no private beaches, which means... Someone must have put the signs up illegally. Look here. One person was cited dozens of times for posting at carbon. Oh. To you, detective. Damn. <laughs> See, I was thinking about the, hey. the private bitches, hey. beaches. What do you think you're thing. doing? I don't know who you two think you are, but I'm calling the police. What, you mean like those police? The beach signs you posted are illegal, Justine, and you know what that helps with? A search warrant. Yeah. I wonder if the officers will find anything of interest in there. Yes, I wonder. Maybe a surf leash used to strangle a young surfer, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. This is insane. But that was the problem, wasn't it? You are wasting your time here. Man, are we came here to surf. You had enough and you snapped. No, that's not true. Well, you say that, Justine, but the police officer up there holding a surfboard says yes. <laughs> oh. Sorry, you were saying. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> you don't get it. And that's why you framed the orcas for Manny's murder. What? If people were scared enough, then finally they would stay away. Hold on. So you're saying your brazen act of violence, it wasn't personal at all? Manny was just a means to an end. That's just you're so disgusting. Arrest, Justine, for the murder of Manny Taylor. Wait, what did he find out? Wait, 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 wait. What was his realization? Manny was just a means to an end. Oh, that's what he You're is. Under arrest, Justine. A means to an Manny end. Taylor. For Pierce, I mean. After all that, I could really use a glass of champagne. Is he gone? Ch <laughs> <I'm so proud. laughs> well. <sighs> he is who he is. He is who he is. You can't change him. I can't do it anymore. I'm in a deal. Because you have to immediate. <laughs> I'm so relieved to hear you say that because I feel the same way. You do? I do. <sighs> you see, I realize that I don't want to hide our relationship anymore. Oh, I don't think I don't think that's what she meant. Well, that's not exactly. What I mean. <laughs> I'm not sure if we should be together, intimate together, at all. Is this because I have chlamydia? <laughs> no. I mean, I mean, it doesn't help. <laughs> I mean, I can't believe you slept with a prostitute. First off, I didn't know she was a prostitute. Well, that's just Secondly, that's right. you had sex with my brother, the biggest whore on the planet. How do I know you didn't give me chlamydia? Okay. <laughs> How dare you? Oh my God, this is, this is hilarious. <laughs> it's my doctor. Okay. What do you know? False positive on the chlamydia. Okay, good. So I guess we fought for nothing. But it's not for nothing, Amenadiel. I mean, yes, I'm relieved we don't have chlamydia. 
chlamydia. <laughs> this is so romantic. But I do really like you. Aww. You should talk to Maze, though. And I really like you. Mm. Dick, dip cute. Oh, oh, gee. See, that's what I was referring. Not so much for the violence, you know, but the betrayal. I was in a bad place, and I took it out on you, and there's no excuse for that. Very true. I'm sorry. You were in a bad place, really. Is there anything I can do? Do you, do you need a hug? Oh. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> She's good at those. Oh, Ella. You're gonna miss me. Uh oh. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Where do you think you're going? By killing you, of course. Well, I thought we went over this. You can't die, I know. But I promise you, if you stay, I will find a way to end your infinite misery if it's the last thing I do. Okay. You think you can do that? Well, you may have crossed paths with God, but you've certainly never made a deal with the devil before now, have you? <laughs> What's well, say we change that? Oh, shit. What do I have to lose? I mean, he doesn't have anything to well, lose. Hopefully, your life. Okay. <laughs> so he was a means to an end. Okay. I got a little confused there at the end. Okay, guys. So that was the end of season three, episode 12 of Lucifer. And yeah, this was a great episode. It was a really, really good episode that moved the story forward you know but i got a little bit i have to admit it i ha i kind of got a little bit lost by the end of the episode what i mean is lucifer understood that he was a means to an end because god needed right this is what i got god needed for him to interfere with cain's plan so he gave his wings back so he can come back and return earlier to screw up with Cain's plan. But the thing is, and I don't know what I mean. Yes, God works in mysterious ways. I understand that. But they're too mysterious sometimes. I don't get it. <laughs> but the thing is that I... I what, why is it that God thought? Oh, here I am trying to understand God. But at least the God within the series. So why will God said, I'm going to give him his wings back so he can interfere with Pierce, with Cain, and Cain can die? Is it because there is a possibility for Cain to die if he's around Chloe as well? Because then, if not, why will God feel threatened? by Cain and send Lucifer there, right? It doesn't add up. So God must be thinking, okay, I'm so smart because basically within the world of Lucifer, he is, you know, God. So um, he must be thinking there is a loophole somewhere, somewhere that involves Chloe because Chloe was the heir to make Lucifer vulnerable, but maybe there's a loophole that somehow it will make Cain vulnerable as well. We don't know. Okay, we don't know. But we did got a lot of answers. That was the reason why he was keeping track on all celestial beings. Um, the reason why he was here was because he heard about Chloe. And that's the reason why he got a little bit closer to her. Because he was like, okay, there is hope that maybe... I can die. Turns out it might be like that, but at the end of the day, it's not. He did recover after this shot 
gun thing, you know, after getting shot. Um, but maybe he should have been, like, received that, the blow to the head. <laughs> maybe it would have failed. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, you know, it's not the point. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. But it was interesting, to say the least. The fact that we find out these few things, key things about Pierce, you know. So, I'm... I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that part. Anyways, <laughs> sorry. Um, what else happened on the episode, though? What else happened on the episode? Okay, so we have, like, the surfer thing. And I was gonna say, here in my country, we also don't have private uh, beaches. Is that how you pronounce it? Because I feel like I'm saying bitch instead of beach. I think that is how you difference things, right? I don't know. The thing is that we don't have that allegedly, we don't have that. But it happens the same way it happens here. People who uh, have houses, like, right in front of the ocean, they like to believe that they own the beach there, you know? And they don't like tres trespassers, you know? Which, in reality, you are not, because it's illegal, because you don't actually own the beach. I don't know, maybe in some other places you actually do own the piece of the land, you know, that is right in front of you, like, you know. But it doesn't happen there in Cal in, in California. Is that California? Is that that's Las LA, right? California? No, Las Vegas. I have no idea. But it doesn't apply to that part of the country. Um, and I was I was cons I was like yeah, maybe has something to do because why focus on them initially? And then the conversation goes to this wild kid, a wild lady, I don't know. Um, who I was like, okay, you know, she seems hot. Um, I don't think she's the killer, but I, I was appreciative of how good she was on the surfboard and all of that. But turns out she, she really was just a regular chick. Uh, who did not commit any murders, and it was the other woman. Um, but yeah, it was really cool that they did the ritual thing. I mean, it's not cool that they're, you know, beating people up and shit like that. Um, but at the end of the day, it's more like, that is like the turf thing, and like, you know. Um, but it's not... Um, it's not it wasn't fair that the, the lady was trying to, you know... Um, the lady was trying to blame that on them. And that the fault actually was kind of lying, that the conversation was kind of leading towards that path. Totally unfair, you know. Um, but I'm glad that Dan, you know, as much as we make fun of Dan, Dan is a good detective, you know. And he has he has good assets, and, like, he does do uh, cool things, and, like, he helps a lot. And sometimes I feel like he's just the punch joke, you know, the joke here on the show. Um, and, like, people don't necessarily take him seriously, and, like, that is kind of sad, you know? Because he's actually, he's really good at what he does, and he, you know, his whole macho attitude that he had at the beginning kind of has, like, just wash away, and he is just a regular dude. And I like Dan a lot, you know. Um, and I hope that with the passing, you know, time passing, the things that he did in the past kind of are forgotten and they take, you know, we respect him a little bit more. Ella, you know, I love her storyline because I could relate to to it a lot. Because um, I also, like, I have a channel built sol solely on the fact that I talk too much. You know, <laughs> this is this is my thing, you know. Uh, and I have said multiple times that, that this is my safe space. This is where I, the place where I talk. This is why I don't limit myself during reactions or reviews or anything. And I just talk because this is my outlet to just let the world know who I am and, like, just be myself because it's exhausting to, you know, n try to control my impulses, like, you know, for me to talk about the things that I enjoy. So it's hard sometimes because not a lot of people that I know share the same emotion about the things that I like. So this is my outlet. So that's why I never, you know, uh, 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 filter myself here. So I totally understand Ella and how she must feel because sometimes you're really excited talking to a person about the things that you love and they are like, like it's such an awful feeling just to hear like 
man, you talk a lot, you know, that is the most awful feeling, especially coming from someone you care about, someone you admire, and for them to say that to you, it was BS, you know, it feels awful. So for me, I was like, I understand where she, why she's feeling the way she's feeling, you know, and how you try to hide it out just to, you know, not annoy anyone. But like the people who love you and appreciate you will love you and appreciate every side of you, you know? Um, so yeah, I, I do like the fact that Charlotte was there and kind of like defended her and also like didn't do it directly in the sense of like screaming at at peers, you know, in front of Ella so Ella could feel empowered. She actually gave her some advice and actually went like behind her back technically to kind of defend her and know that you are an asshole. Like Ella is the purest soul in this whole present and you screamed at her like how disgusting are you you know and if it was another situation i will destroy you i love that you know girls supporting each other i love that i love that um and i love that then ella you know said all these things to him and she was kind of like taking her advice on like she has to stand up for herself and then she came she went back to being her cute self you know I love it that. I love it that. Ella is adorable and we must protect Ella at all costs because she is amazing. Um, but yeah, anyways, who, what else happened? Well, the whole thing with Lucifer and all of that, I think that it's just like starting up another storyline, a new chapter in this story, which is excellent and I'm very excited for it. Um, but I'm, I think I'm for trying... Oh! The whole Amanda Deal and Linda thing. I, like, <laughs> first of all, I felt bad that he got like a false positive comedian. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. Of course he was gonna. He has the worst luck some, sometimes. But I was really afraid. Since Mays was really excited about the fact that she has a friend on Linda. I think if Linda will have been honest with her. Um, uh, Maze will have appreciated that a lot more. She might have been upset, but if she was, like, real to her and said, you know what, I actually think I have feelings for him, and, like, you know, I think Maze will have feel a lot better. But now it comes with a betrayal, you know? Like, Linda said that she was doing something, and she was doing, actually, the complete different thing. So it's, it's very... Um, and that that part really made me sad because Maze was just like pissed and like once the anger passes like she's going to feel sad that her supposedly only friend you know uh or her best friend um betray her betray her trust it goes beyond a man deal it goes beyond the fact that it is her ex boyfriend i think it goes beyond that it's about her is about her best friend, you know. Um, so I think that it's it's totally unfair, and yeah, it's gonna suck once you know she tells Linda that she knows the truth, and like it's going to be horrible, you know. Um, I don't know if it's because she still has feelings for a man deal, or is it because just she didn't want them to? I don't know, but. Yeah, I kind of understand how she's feeling and, like, she's gonna be feeling a little bit more dressed. <laughs> because it's, it's maze, you know? What I mean. Oh, but it's going to be really scare, scary. How do you say? Yeah, yeah. Once once she decides to confront them, I'm, I mean, I will be scared. <laughs> She's out there, you know, thinking that buying knives for people is the nicest thing you can do. So just imagine that. Um, but yeah, anyways, I love it, the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you love Lucifer. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. And you can go right now to Patreon and watch the full Uncut Extended Version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link as always will be in the description down below. And for now, I think that's about it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching watching for all your support uh yeah you guys are amazing and for now that's about it thank you so much guys i'll see you next time for more reaction videos for lucifer that's it Mwah. bye guys